Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please. I think you all know our guest of honor today, our great Congressman Jeff Johnson and Vera Johnson, his lovely and gracious wife. Now, many of you know that Jeff is now completely recovered from a triple bypass operation. Doesn't he look great? I never felt better. Before I turn the floor over to the congressman, I'd like to thank my old friends, Mr. and Mrs. Zeke Bridges, for the use of their wonderful, lovely home here. Thank you, Zeke. Now, sirs, ladies and gentlemen, in the 20 years of the great... bitch. <laughs> Uh, well, it seems like host's work is never done. <laughs> now, in the 20 years that the Honorable Jefferson Davis Johnson has been our representative in Congress, Excuse me? the door has always Pardon been me? open to us. What you say, Pete? Whatever our walk Excuse of life, me? utilities, pharmaceuticals, one insurance, One Burton sour realistic. straight up with extra Wait. orange, and one Gibson no onion, and two white wine well, spritzers, ahead, and a low and brown. Oh, please, allow me to light a secret for you. All this for you, sir. The way your hair matches your eyes, I don't know how I can control myself. Excuse me, I get those drinks. I can't believe that you're Inga. You don't look Swedish. You're so different from your picture. That wasn't me on the TV, but that sure was me on the telephone. You want me to prove it, Zeke? You told me that you want me to tie you up and beat you with oh My God, Inga, that was on the phone. <laughs> I never thought you'd be in my house. I, you've got to get out of here. But you told me you wanted me. You told me to quit my job. And now, honey, here I am. Not now, waiter. Please. Don't worry about a thing. I'll handle this. You. Bang on the floor, hands in the air. Do it! Sergeant Brown, vice squad, undercover operations. I know who you are, dirty pig. Hey, shut up! You're under arrest. My God, what's going on here? Sir, you've been the target of a ruthless gang of con artists. I think it all started when you called the Girls of Many Nations party line. It's a 1-900 phone sex. You put it on your credit card instead of your phone bill because you didn't want your wife to see it, right? Big mistake. The gang used your credit card number to find out everything they could find out about you. It's the gang's M.O. to wait until the victim's having a big party and will do anything, pay big money to avoid embarrassment. Embarrassment? Some bitch! This goes beyond embarrassment. A hundred of my very best friends Paid a thousand dollars a piece to have a drink with Congressman Johnson, not to mention the fact my wife is probably looking for me right now. Sir, that is exactly what their evil scheme is depending on. In fact, any second now, a huge Latino man's gonna burst in pretending he's an outraged husband. Inga! What are you doing with my wife? Senor. It's okay, Alice. My friend, rum and coke. Don't let anyone else in, please. Thanks. Did he touch you? Oh, yeah, I got you rum and coke. There's your rum and coke, and she could drink it with you. Hey, cállate, cállate la boca! Cállate la boca ahora! Ahora sí! Now you see how they were going to plan to con you out of your money. But I know better. Because I know you're a courageous citizen, and I know you're going to testify. Oh. Yes, you're going to testify. I can't testify. Well, sure you can. All you've done was phone sex. A lot of people have done that. He wanted me to tie him up and spank him with a wet garter belt. No, 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 no. Excuse me. That is between the fantasy hostess and the freak. I don't even want to hear. Freak? Hey, Poppy, I got a tape in the car. Eight track or cassette. That's right. You want to hear it? No, 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 no. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, please. They're trying to intimidate you by telling you that they have an audio tape of you freaking on it. Don't you think you're intimidating him? You're not intimidating him. He's going to testify because his family may not know he's a freak, but he's been married 20, 30 years. His wife know he's a freak already. Freak? Uh, 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 Sergeant Brown, I have to talk to you in private, please. Mr. Bridges, I can't leave the suspects by themselves. Well, let's uh, lock them in the crapper. Okay, come on. Move it in the back. Come on, man, move it. Come on! Yeah, no, my dog. Hey, wait, hey! Stop it up, muchacho! God damn it! Now, you've all met my legislative assistant, Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly and my fine staff, along with myself, will be available to you 24 hours a day. I'm proud to be your man in Washington. I plan to keep going back as long as you keep sending me. Please listen, Sergeant. I'm the chairman of a large conservative insurance company. I know you're chief, Sergeant Brown. Help me and you'll be Lieutenant Brown. Just get these people the hell out of here quietly. Mr. Bridges, I know these people, okay? If you let them go, they're just going to blackmail you. I don't care. What do they want? Going by the other victims, it costs like $5,000. Okay. 
That's 5,000 each, you know. Okay. You know it's four people in the gang. $20,000? See, that's what I'm telling you. I think you should testify. No, I can't. Please put your money away, sir. Look, it's... It's just that I don't have that much cash. I've only got $12,000. See, and it's four people in the gang. Wait a minute. My Rolex. Oh, Mr. Bridges, no. No, 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 please, sir. No, it's worth $10,000. Oh, Mr. Bridges, I don't want to take your watch. I don't want to take your money. Besides, they don't want a watch. They want cash. Take the damn money. Take the watch, please. Get them out of here and get that tape. You know this goes against my every principle. 